and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. We got some hot news coming out. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I know I haven't reported in a while, but uh, I just couldn't uh, pass up this opportunity. The way the Bible's lining up perfectly as was happening in the world. First of all, we have Kim Jong-un in North Korea firing missiles into the sea. The first time since he, back in the uh, provocation a while back ago, he fired uh, a few missiles, uh, bar they say a barrage of missiles into the sea, the Northeast Sea, I believe. And we'll go over the article in a second. And also there's heated, heated exchanges in the uh, Gaza-Israeli hostilities. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting uh, heated up. I mean, it's... Uh, if you read your Bible, it's it's just falling in line perfectly what the scriptures foretold. Uh, this uh, news is out of Reuters. See if you see the screen there. Uh, Gaza Israeli hostilities flare with rocket attacks, airstrikes. Now I got two videos, uh, one from CGTN and the other one from Euronews that touches. Uh, upon the uh, the topic of North Korea and this new Israeli strike. I tell you what, it's, it's getting heated up. It's getting really heated up, ladies and gentlemen. This is serious news, serious news. Uh, let's re read a little of the article. Uh, Gaza, uh, Gaza militants fired dozens of rockets into uh, Israel on Saturday, drawing a wave of Israeli airstrikes that killed one Palestinian gunman and hostilities flared across the border for a second dead. And there's some damage done to that area. And uh, the escalation began on Friday when two Israeli soldiers were wounded by Gaza gunfire near the border. A retaliatory Israeli airstrike killed two militants from the Islamist Hamas group that governs Gaza. Uh, now they say, on, on this uh, paragraph right here, that a uh, total... Uh, Palestinians fired about 150 rockets. Now the dome, the Israeli dome, uh, uh, caught most of them before they uh, were able to hit the ground or buildings or, God forbid, people. Uh, but they, they, there's heated, uh, heated exchange, ladies and gentlemen. There's heated exchange. And if you read your Bible, I don't want to sound redundant, but if you read your Bible, this is all coming into play. Uh, once again, Gaza, Israel, hostilities flare with rocket attacks and airstrikes. And I do it once again. I do have a video that's coming up right after this, so stay tuned. Uh, the next topic, and this is out of nowhere. This is a, uh, this is kind of uh, caught every, everybody off guard. North Korea fires quote barrage of short-range projectile missiles. South says says South. Now I do have a video of this also that's coming up after this. Let's touch on the article a little bit. North Korea has fired a barrage of unidentified short-range projectile towards the ocean, according to the South Korean military. South Korea's military has blossomed its surveillance in case there are additional weapon launches. South Korean and U.S. authorities were analyzing the details of the Saturday launch. And, uh, you know, it's I, the, 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 I don't think Kim can do what he wants to do with the uh, heavy sanctions that's put on him to denuclearize. I think that the sanctions are getting to him and he's getting desperate. Now how far would that desperation go? I don't know. Only the good Lord up above knows that question. But he did uh, fire, just fire some uh, barrage of short range missiles. This is the first time in a while. Uh, but uh, once again I got two videos coming up after this and you know, it's serious news. We should cleave to the Lord in these last days and uh, and draw close to the Lord because the Lord's return is near. Uh, you know, it, it, I was just thinking about this last night before I got the news yesterday, rather. And, uh, it, you know, the Lord is, uh, is giving all the signs there. And uh, the countries are lining up and, and doing their thinking that, the, the Bible foretells, you know, wars and rumors of wars. And, uh, but uh, I think all of us Christians and the, the Jewish community that watches uh, Jerusalem's Gate uh, knows that the, uh, the living God of Israel is on Israel's side and they will prevail. And North Korea, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It, it, it just took me by it took me by surprise that he did that. But uh, anyway, here comes the two videos. Thanks for tuning in to Jerusalem's Gate. Here comes the videos.
Palestinian militants fired more than 90 rockets into southern Israel on Saturday, after Israel killed two Hamas militants in airstrikes in the Gaza Strip on Friday. The Israeli military said the strikes were a retaliation to gunfire from Gaza that injured two Israeli soldiers. A Palestinian protester was also killed in clashes along the border. Gazans were protesting along the Israeli border fence as part of the Great March of Return, a weekly demonstration at the fence which started last March and has since seen more than 200 Gazans killed. Last year, DPRK leader Kim Jong-un pledged to suspend testing nuclear bombs and long-range ballistic missiles. On Saturday, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said that multiple missiles had been launched from the DPRK port town of Wonsan, each flying 70 to 100 kilometers into the East Sea. Analysts suspect they were short-range missiles, so not technically in breach of Kim Jong-un's pledge, but definitely intended to test Washington's negotiating position after President Donald Trump walked away from what he described as a bad deal at his Hanoi summit with Kim Jong-un in February. Last month, Pyongyang also tested what it described as a new tactical guided weapon that experts say was likely an anti-tank device. That test and the latest play into what many analysts say is Pyongyang's growing impatience with Washington over its insistence that sanctions will not be lifted or even eased until real denuclearization begins. Kim Jong-un has made the economy a core part of his domestic policy and there are signs his country is urgently in need of financial aid. The test came just one day after a report released by the United Nations warning the DPRK had cut food rations to their lowest level ever for this time of year and may be forced to cut them even further without international aid. The UN estimates about 40% of the population is suffering from severe food shortages, following what its key food agencies describe as the worst harvest in a decade. U.S. Special Representative for the DPRK, Stephen Began, will travel to South Korea and Japan next week for talks aimed at trying to find a way forward for the currently stalled nuclear diplomacy. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.